Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to very quickly and easily remove duplicate values from a list, data set, or database within Excel. Specifically Excel 2007 because here we don't have to use any macros. So if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com search for the tutorial and you can download it there. So what I've got here is a sample sales list. You may have seen it in one of my other tutorials. It's um, from a CSV file sample list and I've got a bunch of salesmen over here but let's say that somehow the CSV file has been recording duplicates from whatever previous system so when we import it into Excel we have a bunch of data that we don't need well let's go ahead and delete some of that I'm going to zoom in really quickly on the data now I have um, 60 rows or so or no 35 rows of it so what you want to do is go to the data tab and you see in the data tools box remove duplicates so click remove duplicates and this is going to appear so the first thing is Excel is going to check see if it looks like you've got headers in your data and if you do it's going to not include them in what it's checking for duplicates now if uh, Excel guessed wrong or if you don't have headers go down to this little box that says my data has headers and uncheck that you'll notice that now column one has been selected check it again column one where I have headers is not selected also if you do have headers you get to select the headers down here based on what you'd like to check for duplicates I'll explain that in a second if you don't have headers it simply list it as column A B C D etc so now that I'd like to remove duplicates, I have a few different choices. Let's go ahead and unselect all. If um, what you want to choose down here is the column, you would like to check for duplicates. So if I select the contact column and then choose to remove duplicates, what it's going to do is l return only the unique rows of data based on the contact column. So if I have one salesman, that has made um, say two sales to two different companies it's going to go ahead and delete one of those records so that I only have a row with one salesman in it now that's kind of confusing but the point is if I check check contact it'll check that row for dupe or that column for duplicates eliminate all duplicates no matter what is in any of the other columns so even if it's pertaining to different companies and different sales it's going to delete everything except for one record for one sale. Now if I choose select all, what that's going to do is it's going to check for a duplicate row based on all of the columns. So every single thing in every one of these columns, which you can see listed in row one, has to be identical for the record to be deleted. So let's go to unselect all again. Say I check contact, then I check company that's a little bit more realistic right say that there's only one salesman for a company and there's only one item that you actually sell to that company well it's plausible that if there are duplicate entries of the same contact person with the same company that it could be an actual duplicate instead of two separate sales so what this will do is check for those two rows if I go ahead and click record manager then it's going to check all three columns say is there a row that has the same contact company and record manager as another row if there is I'm gonna delete all of them except for one so now you can see if I choose select all and click OK no duplicate values are found but more realistic let's go ahead and um, just leave unique for the contact and the company click OK and then it tells you how many duplicate values were found and removed and then how many unique values remain so if this looks a little bit odd or fishy to you say too many duplicate values were found you think hmm it's a little odd maybe you want to undo that and check it again but we're good for now and I had about 36 values before now I only have 21 so it has deleted the duplicates that I specified now this topic is kind of confusing at first so let me undo that we can see we've got 35 values again 
and um, sort of see if I can go over it again. So if you already understand it, you don't have to continue watching, no point. But if you'd like me to go through it again, that's what I'll do right now. Try to make it a little bit easier to understand. So most of the time you want to check for duplicates and delete duplicates based on one column, right? You want to check for column A. If I have more than one name in column A, I've got a duplicate. So I want to only I want to delete all of the duplicate values so that I only have unique values. The problem with that is, just like in this case, column A is salesmen. Well, salesmen make multiple sales to multiple different companies. So just because I have in this um, column a salesman listed more than once, it doesn't mean it's a duplicate value because it could be the same salesman making a sale to a different company, multiple different companies. That's why the remove duplicates is not necessarily so straightforward. So um, click remove duplicates, make sure headers are okay, and unselect all. The easiest one, you know, check contact, then it's going to remove all duplicate for the salesman. But like I said, usually you're going to, want to, going to want to check multiple different criteria. So make sure that the company has to be the same as well for it to be a duplicate, the record manager, the state, the zip, let's get very specific. All of these, the city, have to be exactly the same for me to consider this a duplicate record. Click OK. OK. Now we've deleted duplicates. If you messed it up, control Z to undo everything. So um, I hope that you understand sort of now how to use the remove duplicates feature in um, Excel 2007. In previous versions of Excel, you're really going to be limited to using macros. And um, it's going to be a little bit more confusing than this. But most of them, it's important to note, are only going to check one column for duplicates. So it's kind of a downfall. Anyway, though. Um, if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the tutorial, and you can download it there. And otherwise, that's it for this tutorial.